In this video, we will be implementing neural network from scratch in Python. In the last video, we looked at gradient descent. We will just extend that code and write our own neural network class. This will be purely in Python. We will not be using any TensorFlow or Keras. So it will be a lot of fun. And then we will do prediction using our own custom built class. So please watch till the end. Let's start coding now. This is the notebook we created for our gradient descent tutorial in last video. So if you have not seen it, you have to see it because it is kind of a prerequisite for this session. So just to go over it very quickly, what we did is we imported an insurance data set where based on age and affordability, we can decide if the person will buy the insurance or not. And then we built a simple neural network, which is nothing but a logistic regression. You all know that uh, logistic regression can be thought of as a simple neural network, which has just single neuron. And in the input layer, you will have two neurons. And we built this network in Keras TensorFlow first. We did compile and fit, and then we did some predictions. And then we replicated the exact same thing in plain python by writing our own gradient descent function so we stopped at this point in our last video in this video we are now going to write a neural network class that makes use of this method that we wrote in last video so our end goal would be to all right let me see what is our end goal so in the end what we want is so let me just remove all the cells we want to write our own custom class so let's say if i create a class called my neural network and if i can call a fit method you know how we call a fit method on kira's model so here you see okay so similar to that i want to create this fit method and it should just work and after that I want to create a prediction functions as well so basically I want to do this and then I want to do this so then this should behave same as our Keras predict function see this one okay so let's write that class okay so the class you all know in Python if you want to create a class you start by class my nn and this is a constructor of the class and you have to always supply self as an argument okay so i just created a very very simple class in this class i am going to now put gradient descent function so let's put this function inside that class so it's fairly simple you just copy paste you have to take care of indentation and add self argument as the first argument in this method all right this looks good now so what now we want to do is uh, create a fit method okay so let's create a fit method and the fit method the first argument of every class method is self and then here you have x you have y you have epochs and the last threshold pretty much whatever you have here and when you call fit method what you're doing is you're supplying x and y which is x train scale and y train from that you need to get age and affordability because gradient descent function ex expects that so let's let's call gradient descent so i will do self dot gradient descent okay and what is the first argument first argument is age so the age will be x of age in data frame this is how you access any column then x dot affordability okay then your y true is y then remaining argument you can just 
supply as is and what you will get as a result is a tuple you will get w1 w2 and bios so that you can store maybe in a class member so i need to create a class member called self.w1 so this is the weight one if you look at this awesome diagram that's the weight one and we'll initialize weight two and we'll initialize b or a bias so let's do all of that step by step so you all know we uh, started with weight one if you remember my last video's presentation we started with weight one and weight two to be one and bias we are initializing it to be zero i have explained why i'm initializing it in this way in previous video hence watching the previous video is very important and once gradient descent returns those three they they come back as a tuple and in python if you want to accept tuple you can do something like this self dot bias okay so this way now you created a fit method all right so let's you know what i'm just gonna run the fit method and i will keep my epoch very very small because just i'm just trying uh, testing this out so here i'm creating an object of this myn and class then calling a fit method in that i'm supplying x train y train and so on okay my nn is not defined because i did not run this cell so control enter i ran that cell x train scale is not defined okay so x train scale is not defined so i need to probably execute all of this so i just do control enter and execute these one by one okay so when i executed all my cell this is how the result looks so it is working perfectly okay as per our expectation it ran five epochs and at the end of every epoch we are seeing some value of weight one weight two bias and so on all right now since we want to run more epoch i want to make one change where you know this is too much printing actually so i will print this statement only maybe at the 50th iteration and if you want to do that you know you can do it easily by doing this so when your i is in either 50 100 150 etc it will print this trace line okay perfect so let's maybe quickly test it out so i will just run 100 epoch i need to execute that okay so control enter control enter again so now see it is printing at every 50th epoch so i have less logging going on okay now let's implement the predict method so you are mostly done with the most important part which was determining the weights and bias okay in predict method the arguments will be uh, the x taste okay so x taste and what we're going to do is you all know that in any neuron there are two mathematical component one is weighted sum the other one is sigmoid so we are doing exactly that we'll do weighted sum and then sigmoid okay so how do you do weighted sum you can say weighted sum is equal to what so weighted sum is nothing but let's look at our picture it is age multiplied by w1 affordability multiplied by w2 and you do it for you do it for entire vector and you get a summation okay and then you of course add a bias so w1 into age okay what is age well x taste is a data frame which will have age and affordability both so now you do self dot w2 into x taste and affordability since the spelling is long i'm just gonna do copy paste and then self dot bias once you have weighted sum you are just calling a sigmoid function 
which is a sigmoid numpy function this function by the way we define here okay and you pass weighted sum there and that's it so that's that's the end of our predict method so now do control enter control enter okay maybe i will run more epochs maybe 500 and you know at 350 epoch it it just broke so um maybe i should print this here as well so that i know like when i'm breaking the loop what are my weights etc okay so it broke after third 366 epoch and these were the values of my weights now if you compare these weights with our tensorflow model weights which was this coefficient and intercept you will find that we are finding exactly same not exactly but close enough weights as our tensorflow model so tensorflow gave 5.06 our own python class gave 5 5.05 1.4 1.45 minus 2.95 minus 2.91 so they are like almost similar now i'm going to do prediction using my custom model so let's do prediction okay this is what i get and i will do now pre same prediction using my tensorflow model so this model model variable contains a tensorflow model if you look it up this is that model okay so we are doing model dot predict for same x taste and you will notice that we almost get the same value see 0 0.355 355 0 0.828 0 0.829 almost same so we successfully completed writing our own custom neural network to solve the insurance data set problem now if you want to write this class in a truly generic way you will not have variables such as x and age and affordability you will have x that will be your data frame and you will use that data frame x instead of age and affordability etc and you will have w1 and w2 etc again as a numpy vector maybe in a future video we'll look into that generic implementation but this video should give you a good idea on how you can write your own neural network class from scratch this is something they might ask in your data science or machine learning interview so friends please practice this code i'm gonna provide a link of this notebook in a video description below you download that code or run it on your own if possible try to change the values in the data set i'm going to provide this csv file as well so just change the value and see how it behaves and you can compare the performance of your own custom neural network class with this keras neural network class okay thank you very much for watching i will see you in next video